Tinubu's approval of 3 billion naira to verify social register should have gone into actual poverty alleviation. Peter B once again speaks. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general elections, Peter Obi, has berated the President Bola Tinobu led Nigerian government for approving 3 billion naira for verification of the National Register of Poor Nigerians. The Special Advisor to President Tinobu on Information and Strategy, Mr. Bayo Nonuga, had on Monday said that the President had approved the release of 3 billion naira for the verification of the National Social Register under the former President Muhammad Buhari administration. Sahara reporters on Monday reported how a memo from President Tinubu's chief of the staff, Femi Banyebia Mila, revealed that the President gave approval to the now suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Betty Edu. For the release of 3 billion to verify the National Social Register under Buhari. The Social Register had been created for cash, transfers, and other social investment programs. Several firms had been awarded contracts, and from, from the 3 billion given out to the suspended minister, a release which has now generated controversies and is a subject of proof by presidential investigators, and anti-craft agencies. In his reaction, Obi, in a series of posts on the X, formerly Twitter, on Wednesday, said that President Tinubu should rather direct the 3 billion naira to be used for actual poverty alleviation for millions of Nigerians living in multidimensional poverty in the country. Obi also pointed out that the 3 billion naira approved for only verification of the National Register of Poor Nigerians was much higher than the total budget approved by the government for the country's national library. According to the former governor of Anambra State, the inability of Nigerian leaders to prioritize expenditure and focus on the critical areas of national development and national security are the challenges weighing down on Nigeria today, he wrote. It is very surprising to hear that a sum of 3 billion naira was approved for verification of the National Register of the Poor. This can only happen in Nigeria. I have maintained that we must decisively deal with the issue of cost of governance in Nigeria now as a matter of urgency. Sadly, this very huge amount approved just for verification of the National Register of the Poor is more than the three times the amount of the 908 billion, 699 million, 435,000, which was budgeted for our national uh, library. This is happening at a time in our nation when we need all the manpower training to keep our work false productive our national library a very critical infrastructure in our nation simply abandoned lacks books and educational materials the same amount should have made a significant importance if uh, prudently and transparently managed more so with more than half of our population battling with absolute and multi multi-dimensional poverty one wonders why such a month sum was approved for just verification of National Register of the Poor when the same amount could have been directed towards actual poverty alleviation. This approval raises a fundamental question. How come the data for poverty alleviation has not been verified on a regular basis? The inability of we, the leaders, to prioritize our expenditure and focus on the critical areas of national development and national security are the challenges weighing down on our nation today. Unless we begin to sacrifice our personal comfort.
for the good of security and begin to care more for the people, especially the less privileged ones. Our nation will continue to grapple with all forms of societal hills caused by high level of poverty. Hmm. But Mr. Peter B is correct. He understands the game. You know, our politicians, they, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. How can you be living the main thing? How can you be living the main thing just because they want, you know, to always defraud Nigerians? Talk is cheap. Oh. There is a need to have harmonized data as a country. Paying the money through the current uh, stethoscope is pure corruption. We all need to be ready to fight corruption, irrespective of who we, who is involved. This, this, this issue of where the person is coming from, and this and this and that, and when someone talks, they go say, go sit down. We have to stop this. All is not well with this country. If we really want Nigeria to stay, all these things have to be put into consideration. Our leaders, are they really uh, caring for the masses? Nigerians, I'm saying this again. There is fire on the mountain. Whether we like it or not, all is not well with Nigeria as a country. And if we did not stand up today to demand what is rightfully belongs to us, these people will keep on treating us the way they are currently you know, doing. So guys, what's your take on what Peter Obi?